What's up, Raider Nation? Um, I'm very uh, disappointed about this game. And um, to be honest, I'm not angry at how the Raiders played. I am not angry about anything the Raiders did. I thought they played a fair game. I'm angry at what probably every other Raider fan should be angry about. The officiating, obviously. You guys know who that was, right? Fuck, I forgot his first name already. That was Mr. Anderson. That motherfucker has screwed us in the snowball about 12 years ago. Why is this guy still allowed to officiate Raider games? I don't understand at all. Really. This was just totally horseshit. Terrible penalty calls all over the place. There was a call on Mike Jenkins fucking taunting. I don't, I've never been aware of taunting being a penalty in the NFL. Never in my life. It's the first time I ever saw that shit called. A couple holding calls, they were just minor touches, they called them as holds. The only things the referees were getting right today were the false starts. Everything else was just bullshit, you know. A couple penalties were on us. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give them that. But that was just, that was just disgusting. The touchdown in the end, he, he didn't have possession of the ball getting up. Are you fucking kidding me? Where did these rules come from? I swear, these fuckers just make up the rules as the game was going on. And so many bad calls. In the beginning of the game, I thought Keenan Allen fumbled. And they gave it to the Chargers. And then, it was just so much bullshit. It, just, it, was, just getting it was just getting old after a while. It was really pissing me off. I mean, when the officials... It's, it's one thing that's different when your players play bad or your coaching's unprepared and you lose a game as a team and you get fucking pissed. And it's just, oh yeah, another game the Raiders wasted. But this was different. This game, our players looked energized. They looked ready. They came out playing pretty good. The officials just threw it. They just gave it to the Chargers. Any Charger fan out there trying to brag about this win, you're a fucking idiot, really. Because your team did not play too good today. There was, a, there was a terrible snap by Hardwick, went for a fumble, interception from Rivers. It wasn't the best Chargers game. It, it wasn't even close, actually. Two of your touchdowns came from stupid referee calls. It was also an intentional grounding call, I think. And another thing that was pissing me off, the Chargers, in the end of the game, were doing the same penalties, and they weren't getting called. They were not getting called for the Chargers. They were putting on the same kind of pass interferences, same kind of holds, same everything, and no penalties called for the Chargers. It was obvious that these officials had something against the Raiders today, and then when I went on Facebook and I heard that, that it, was, it was the same official from the Tuck Rule game, that, 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 just, that just fucking pisses me off. I don't know why this guy's even still officiating in the NFL, first of all. Second of all, he shouldn't be anywhere near a fucking Raiders game. I, I'm just I'm just pissed off with the NFL right now. I mean, I've seen plenty of games this year, Pats games and, and other games that got ruined by terrible official calling. And now this is our game right here. We got we totally got screwed by the officiating in this one. It was it was bad all around. Even the Chargers had bad calls handed to them. Late in the game, there was a false start on I think it was Pachos, and then they called the penalty back because of those whistles coming from the stands the fuck? I know that penalty helped us out, but I'm, I'm being honest here. That was a stupid call. These referees were just slowing the game down, taking them. We were, we were running a no-huddle offense, up-tempo in the end, and the refs were just calling penalties after penalties after penalties. I'm, I'm not a conspiracy guy. I'm not one of those guys that loves to bless, blame, blame the refs or loves to say the refs got paid. Shit like, well, I think the refs wanted the Chargers to win this game. I really do. I think it was clear that the referees wanted the Chargers to win this game. It was obvious. I think the NFL should be ashamed that these are the kind of officials they're putting out there in games like this, playoff deciding games. I mean, we should have knocked the Chargers out of the, out of the playoff on right there. This just pissed me off a lot. Defensively, we got to tackle better, obviously. That's the one part of the game that we played bad as a team. And we got to tackle better. I mean, we're, we're, like, I think one of the commentators, those commentators were stupid, but... One of them said that the Raiders are positioning themselves right. They're just not making the tackles. I agree with that. We, we, we just gotta, we gotta finish. You know, we gotta finish these drives. Chargers are a hard team to get off the field, but you gotta tackle. Simple as that. Offensively, I thought we did pretty good offensively. The dumb false start. The penalties killed us on offense, really. Mm. 
a lot of those were official officials are just calling them out of BS, but some of them were against the players. And then anything they improved. The drop catches and drop pass by Marcel recently, and I, I still got a problem with Raider fans. After all of this, it should be obvious what lost us this game. And people are still out there blaming McGloin, asking to put Terrell Pryor in, asking for Dennis Allen to be fired. These people, I, I feel like they're trying to be stupid. They're trying to piss me off on purpose. It's because they're like... They have the brains of fucking two-year-olds. They're so fucking stupid. I don't even think I've ever encountered such a dumb fan base in the history of my life. The Raider fans, they're, they're achieving a new record for the dumbest, 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 dumbest motherfuckers in the NFL. Really. I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of Raider fans. Dennis Allen, what did he do wrong in this game? It was a close game. We were prepared pretty well. What do you want to blame on Dennis Allen? What do you want to blame on McGloin? He threw some nice deep balls, the ones that were incomplete. He was 6 for 7 until a lucky interception that Eric Weddle dove on, by the way. It was tipped and then dove on. Not, not many other players would have came up with that pick, alright? So, if you're trying to blame McGloin on that, I don't get it. I just don't get these fans at all. Asking for McKenzie to be... McKenzie just brought us from the bottom of the league to the number one cap position in the NFL. And these stupid motherfuckers are asking for this guy to leave? Well, you want Al Davis back so we can have more cap problems? If anybody hears from a Raider fan, Raider fan on YouTube named Mr. This guy is the worst troll I've ever had to deal with. Really. The guy is trying to tell me that Al Davis never gave us a cap problem. <laughs> It's cute when Raider fans try to be fucking stupid like that. It's just it's annoying. I also saw somebody say, cut Marcel Reese. If you're going to be cutting players because of drops, you shouldn't be saying anything at all because you're a clueless, stupid, ignorant motherfucker. Alright? Somebody else blamed McGloin in the game. Oh, he couldn't get Marcel Reese open on a deep ball. First of all, that was Janice Oswell, right? That was not Marcel Reese. Use your eyes. Second of all, when you throw a ball to a fullback, a fullback is obviously slower than a wide receiver. That's, that's not rocket science, alright? Our, our fans need to stop looking like three-year-old fucking monkey brains because these guys are embarrassing the team with their stupidity and we get laughed at around the league. Next year, we're going to have more money than any other team in the NFL to make room and get players on free, in free agency. I want Greg Hardy. I want fucking... I want everybody. I want to see Hakeem Nix. I want to see everybody come on this team. Reggie McKenzie's going to do some shit this offseason. And, and Raider fans, we got a lot to look forward to. We lost for 10 years because Al Davis was a shitty decision maker. He was a bad drafter. He, was, he, was, he lost it in his last couple of years with Oakland. And that is the reason we're in cap hell. We were in cap hell. That is the reason we have no talent on the team. Al just screwed us over. And in two years, Reggie fixed that. If any of you, any of you, comment on my video telling me Reggie McKenzie is not doing a good job, I'm, I'm just going to ignore you because you're, you're, just, you're just simply being ignorant. Really. McKenzie is very smart. He's done a very good job doing what he's done so far. Dennis Allen now. I don't want to fire any head coaches, alright? I know. I'm glad today's loss, it was a loss, but it wasn't a blowout. If next week's game against Denver is a good game and it's not a blowout, keep Dennis Allen for one more year. It won't hurt. It won't hurt. Defensive-minded coach taking over 35 points a game. It happened three times this year. Four times, actually. Those games are going to look bad on your record. But besides that, that's four games that we took over 35 points. All the rest... Pretty close games, and there's that's four out of 16 games in the NFL. So we played 12 close games, kept it close. I and mean, when you keep it close, the team, close games that you lose, you lose close games because the players couldn't execute the one or two plays that would have won the game. You get blown out when your coaches don't prepare you for, for the game. Simple as that. A couple of games this year we weren't prepared. The Eagles game, we were a mess. We didn't. We weren't prepared for the up, up tempo offense. 
Broncos game. It was Peyton Manning, obviously. And then there was the uh, the Jets game. I don't even know what happened in that one. I think that was just a, a lack of everything in that game. I just I I didn't watch that one. And then there was the Chiefs game, which we just gave up in the end. So. And we didn't prepare for the screen passes against the Chiefs, obviously. So, um, guys, stop bitching about these losses. These losses are just nothing. All right? Next year's coming by. We have the number one cap space in the NFL. 70 million coming our way. And there's a lot to look forward to, all right? This... You guys can bash on me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to say this. I guarantee... 95% sure next year is going to be a winning season. I know you guys are all tired of hearing next year, next year, next year, but now we finally have the evidence. We've got the proof that we have money to spend. We've got the proof that we've got, we've got coaches that can work with minimal talent. We've got the proof that we have a, we're a team progressing, building in progress, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Catch you guys later.